Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Well... Well, folks, one year ago today, Donald Trump was elected president. Give him a chance. <laughs> Yesterday, Democrats commemorated this anniversary by kicking Trump's ass using his archenemy, the popular vote. Okay, let's go around the horn. Let's see the results. Let's start in Helena, Montana, where Wilmot Collins became the first black mayor in Montana's history. Also... I like that. I like that. Also, and this is fun, the first black person in Montana's history. <laughs> Wyoming is the diverse one out there. And in New Jersey, Democrat Phil Murphy was elected governor. A sad day for Chris Christie. <laughs> so, uh, a day for Chris Christie. <laughs> and in his acceptance speech, Governor Elect Murphy expressed the way a lot of Democrats were feeling last night. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me try that. Hold on. Make you wanna jump. They've forgotten how to be happy. So, <laughs> Democrats have their swagger back. They've already updated their logo to this. <laughs> they also made major gains in Virginia's House of Delegates, winning at least 15 <laughs> seats in an upset. Yeah. 15 seats in an upset that stunned members of both parties. Both parties? So even the Democrats didn't think the Democrats would win. <laughs> What? No, people hate us. I demand a recount. <laughs> Virginia also elected its first transgender state lawmaker, Danica Rome. And this is in a moment of, I think, sweet irony. Uh, the man she beat was Bob Marshall, the Republican who introduced Virginia's bathroom bill. So, soon, soon there will be one bathroom Bob Marshall can't use the one in his office. <laughs> of course, the big race in Virginia last night was for governor, where Democrat Ralph Northam stomped Republican Ed Gillespie 54 to 45. And it proves the state's old saying, Virginia is for lovers of everyone but Ed Gillespie. <laughs> now, one person who said he loved Gillespie was Donald Trump. But the second Gillespie lost, Trump threw him under the tweet bus. Ed Gillespie worked hard, but did not embrace me or what I stand for. <laughs> Clearly, if he worked hard. Also... Oh. Also... Because he doesn't. Oh, 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 oh. the joke. Yeah, I get he it. I get it. <laughs> also, you're lying. Because Gillespie copied your whole playbook, portraying Northam as enabling Latino gangs, hitting NFL players for kneeling during the national anthem, and promising to keep Confederate monuments up. He even copied the part where you lost the state of Virginia. <laughs> well, you know what they say, imitation is the sincerest form of you lost the state of Virginia. <laughs> Mr. Trump, all of these elections were about you. Significant numbers of voters in each state said Trump was a reason for their vote, with far more voting to oppose you than support you. That's the problem with making everything about you, sir. It means everything, even losing, is about you. That's the downside of narcissism. <laughs> Along... Yeah. Yeah along with no one really loving you.